Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new here. It's Joe here and Evelyn, so glad to be back. Sorry, I've been really busy. Today, we have a very special video for you guys. We are here with Lemon from her channel, Lemon Plays Roblox. And here is her horse, Meringue, with her as well. I'm sure you guys have all heard of her. She is an outstanding YouTuber and uploads some of the best Wild Horse Islands and Roblox content in this community. So if you aren't subscribed to her, you better go do that right now. I'll wait. Okay, good. Glad to see you back. So in today's collaboration with Lemon, we are going to be co-breeding horses together in Wild Horse Islands. There are two videos to this collaboration. One will be on Lemon's channel, which you should go check out. And of course, the video that's up on our channel. They're both different and, you know, you'll see different horses that we end up co-breeding together in each video. Okay, so right now we're just deciding who's going to start. Who's going to co-breed first together. It looks like Evelyn's going to let me and Lemon go first. Um... Oh my goodness, you guys. Tags. What is wrong with what I said? Is it because I said breed? I don't get it. We're in a breeding center. Why can't I say that? <laughs> Whatever. I hope she's okay with me using Oreo. I really wanted to use him to co-breed for this video because my goal is to breed him as much as I can to see if I am able to get a mismatch paired full. That's, that's the goal, so we'll see what we get. Okay, cute. She put in a Cremello Frisian named Delilah. That's such a pretty name. Um, I like it. I think that'll make a cute pair. The anticipation after like accepting, it always gets to me. I hope we get something good. Oh, nice. Lemon bread, 250 fulls. You guys, this bowl is so adorable. So we were able to get the Cremello coat onto the Arabian. That's adorable. And he got um, Oreo's um, mane and tail. Sassy personality. Yeah, this was definitely a win for sure. I'm happy with this. And I've actually always wanted a Cremello coat on an Arabian after I saw, you know, someone in Wild Horse Islands with theirs. They had such a cute tack set with their horse. And I just thought it was adorable. Ever since then, it's been like a little dream of mine. So I'm so happy with this. This is great. I'm also glad that Lemon is happy with the full we got as well. I'm super excited. Okay, so she says she's going to grow him up with a growth potion. Oh, he looks so good. I love it. I'm excited to find a tag set for him and also style his tail. I just think for some reason, in my opinion, the braided look on an Arabian just looks super nice. So I'm probably going to do that just like his dad's mane and tail. I don't know. You guys named Oreo. Do you guys have any name suggestions for our foals? I, I f it doesn't have to be, but I feel like it would be cute if the names were like a mix between the parents' names, Oreo and Delilah. Except I don't, I don't have a clue on a name right now. Oh, cute. So Lemon just took out the mom, the horse she just bred with, Delilah. Oh, her tack set is adorable, you guys. It reminds me a lot of Rosemary's tack set, Evelyn's horse. How does Lemon and like even Evelyn and other players I see in Wild Horse Islands just come up with the best tag sets. It always takes me forever to find like the right theme for a tag set, what would match the horse's coat and such. I don't know how you guys do it. Yeah, the name is fitting, honestly, and I have you guys to thank for that, so thank you. Uh, the reason I chose Oreo specifically out of all of the names you guys suggested, and don't get me wrong, every name that you guys suggested was amazing but i chose oreo specifically not only because it fits him and like you know his colors his coat but also because that name was a nickname of mine when i was younger so i thought that was sweet yeah peach does look really nice i love her tax head and her personality grumpy i don't know for some reason i just love that personality 
And for some reason, um, Evelyn, your horse Peach is giving me like Princess Peach vibes from Mario. I love it. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I have no idea what horse I'm going to use for when I breed next. Yeah, Lemon's right. They really should lower the cooldown time. Honestly, it gets annoying after a while when you really want to breed the same horse again. So I think I'm going to go with um, my liver chestnut overo Frisian this time for when I breed. I don't know. I just really like this coat. I think it's gorgeous. I've actually never showed this horse on my channel before either, you guys. This is Jazzy. I got her a long time ago, tacked her up with, you know, Moonstone tack. I actually got inspiration off of this tack from Evelyn and Cooley. I think one of her horses had like a saddle like this where it was brown but it had Moonstone tire and I thought that looked really beautiful, especially with this coat. I'm actually deciding between using Peach, Hope, or Eclipse for my next breeding. I don't know, I need to ask what you guys recommend. Okay, good, I'll do Eclipse. Um. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Honestly, the outcome I would prefer to have out of this breeding would be a coat like Eclipse because I don't have that yet on a Frisian, so that's what I'm hoping for. I think I would want the chestnut overall. Even though I already have it, I think it would be good for trading. All right, good luck, Evelyn, and thank you, Lemon. Good luck. This is a really expensive breed, probably because my liver chestnut overall. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fail. I mean, obviously it's still cute, but you know how many fading black Frisians I catch in the wild? This is not the desired outcome. What do you think, Evelyn? 5K for this is not worth it. Yeah, definitely not. No, I can literally catch them for free in the wild. It honestly is annoying when you get a fail, especially when it was an expensive fail. Um. I was going to sell this full, but Lemon gave me a good idea, you know, just to let it grow up because apparently they sell for more that way, and I think that's great, you know, more money for the amount of money I lost. 5k. That's just crazy. So now me and Lemon are going to be breeding, and I think I'm going to go with Tangerine because I don't have that coat yet. So my choices are Hope or this unique Great Tobiano that does not have a name yet. Okay, Lemon did a good choice. I like this horse too. Oh wow, I got Tangerine's coat on a Frisian. I like it. I think that's adorable. You guys got a great full. All right, you guys, so we're gonna breed one last time. This time it's gonna be um, Lemon and I again. So we decided on two horses. I have a stallion Frisian with a black overall coat. And she has a gray perch. Is that the gray blanket legacy coat, I believe it's called? But don't quote me on that. I, I don't remember, but I do know it's a legacy coat. Super beautiful. I think this will make a great pair. I definitely am excited for the summer update. I, it's going to be um, my first ever summer update event that I've ever had. I wasn't here for the first ever summer event, unfortunately. So this is going to be exciting and I'm really excited to see what the new event horses are going to be. I wonder if they're going to use um the new breed the aqua tiki <laughs> um for one of the event horses i think that'd be super awesome i'm definitely excited for the summer event because i'm excited to see what the accessories are because i know from the last summer event the accessories were really pretty i actually started playing wild horse islands during the valentine's event the first one but i was like really 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 low 
and I did not know how to play at all. Yeah, just like Lemon, I started playing, um, well, my first ever event was the Autumn event, and basically, Evelyn, you taught me, like, everything about Wild Horse Islands and really got me into it before I was like, no, that doesn't look fun. I like this different horse game I play, but then once you showed me, I got, like, addicted to it, and now here we are. Uh... So yeah, and also I believe the autumn event is like what really got me started being sort of, I guess you could say rich with horses because I traded a lot of acorns for like beautiful coats on horses. It was just, it was pretty awesome. I think it's awesome how um, all three of us kind of started playing Wild Horse Islands at the same time. That's, that's such a cool coincidence. I mean, except for Evelyn, but she didn't really get into the game until the autumn event necessarily so okay so it's been enough time and now we are both able to breed i wonder what kind of outcome we're gonna get so the highest percentage of a chance is to get the black overall frisian and the lowest obviously is a common coat hopefully we get something like in the middle i don't know but another black overall frisian wouldn't be bad i think that would be nice for trading too Oh nice, I bred a 100 fulls. I didn't even realize I've bred so many fulls. Oh you guys, I love it. So we were able to get the gray legacy coat onto the Frisian. This is awesome, I love it so much. I don't even have this coat yet, so this is a win for sure. I love it so much. That's great, I'm happy Lemon likes it too. I don't know what it is, but I've been having pretty good breeding luck today i mean besides that one fail but otherwise everything has just been really great and i'd say same goes for evelyn and lemon too they they both have had great outcomes in this video oh wow okay so lemon just grew her up and she looks really pretty i'm always happy when the mane and tail color match with the coat it's always a win for sure yeah, I'm definitely excited to find a tag set for her. I feel like maybe a blue or a green, maybe even a pink would look cute with her coat. A lot of things match with gray, so I think that'll be easy. And yeah, I totally agree with Lemon. It's really cool how we can have twins when we co-breed. That's why whenever I co-breed, I definitely feel like when you name the full, it should like match up with the twins name, you know, something like that. All right, you guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I had so much fun collaborating with Lemon. Thank you so much, Lemon, again. And I love the fulls I got, except the fail. Yeah, I had tons of fun co-breeding with Lemon and Evelyn. Thank you again, Lemon, for this opportunity to collaborate with you. We had so much fun, it was the best. I think that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Make sure to go check out the other video that's up on Lemon's channel which is another part to this collaboration where we continue co-breeding. Anyways, I hope you guys all have a great day or night. See you next time.